Evening. One of the Ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Welcome back, gamers, to another episode of my Fallout New Vegas Crawl Out to the Fallout Fridays Let's Plays, brought to you by Blackfire Virus, Delilah, EDE, and Veronica. Alright, so, in the last episode I screwed up, I did not know I had, I just had to, like, come back here and hand in the shit, so, uh, I had everything on me the whole time, I didn't need to search the things, yeah, I dropped the ball. So, we're going to hand this stuff in, then we're going to take Veronica and go to Hidden Valley and talk to the Brotherhood of Steel. So gamers, hey. strap in and enjoy this epic apocalyptic adventure. Oh, I've heard of you. What do you want? Again, thank you. This is a huge help. We do have some spare radex in the supply tent. That might work. Thank you. Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. I can't offer much of a reward, but know that the NCR is very grateful. That's very generous of you. I appreciate it. One of the ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Alright, now that we help Bitter Springs out, hopefully... Oh wait! I heard there are rad scorpions they have that can a fucking get as big as guy a on that right away, don't they? Ew. That gives me the creeps just thinking of it. Fix the flag. Alright, so let's head over to Hidden Valley with Veronica, and let's see what the Brotherhood of Steel are all about inside New Vegas. And, on the plus side, this is where I have to take EDE to get upgraded. Since I was contacted a while back through EDE, because I found a bunch of his uh, old uh, hollow tapes stored inside him. Hold on, I've got this. 
I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. For Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. That chip of yours? I wouldn't wager it on Blackjack. Unless the dealer has a five or six showing. See you around. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Looking sharp, Ramos. Hey yourself, kiddo. Delilah's looking mean. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're gonna survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. I don't know. 
I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail, or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets its attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Our elder before McNamara, he had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. Alright, but before we head out, let's bring EDE in here. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. I think I'm able to bypass going to uh, the headquarters since I was already there yesterday and I didn't think about bringing EDE. Ah, uh, damn. I don't want to head down to the headquarters again. So let's just go back to where we started. When I was a kid, that's let's see if we can talk to the red zone here. must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lorenzo, senior knight and general handyman around here. Bye. Apparently not. God damn it. Alright, let's uh, head to the Repcon facility again.
Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. How may I serve you, mistress? Mistress. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety. Valid facial pattern detected. Okay, stealth mode on. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. <laughs> Luck 7 ice cream? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna scream ice cream. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Nice. April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good.
valid facial pattern detected. All right, since now we can actually talk to Lorenzo about EDE inside the fucking hill and va hidden valley, we can go to Veronica's old terminal. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Hmm, more or less. Supposedly it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios-1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios-1 for a time, lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it would show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Ah, oh, hell. Well, how could you know, right? Okay, two other options still on the table. Yeah, maybe they'll think twice about engaging the NCR if they know one of those could be floating around. The notes say to look around Nellis Air Force Base. He suggests going through filing cabinets and computers in the commanding officer's quarters. I like the way you think. Alright, let's go to Pearl's office. Steal some uh, documents, see if we can find out where this pulse gun is. Hopefully I don't get caught. Cause I like the boomers.
Are you okay? You've done us a great service. Thank you. Alright, I got a key, and now we know where the pulse gun is. I just lost a bit of karma, but that's okay, I can regain that easily. Let's head over to Bolt 34. Ooh, I haven't discovered it yet. Let's have, head over to Ra Ra Raoul's shack, then to Vol uh, Vault 34. Come on, look at the little cow. Looks hungry.
Alright gamers, this is where I'm going to draw today's episode to a close. In the next episode, I'm going to be exploring Vault 34 with this great group of people. And hopefully we find this pulse gun for Veronica so she can have proof for the elders. So, and hopefully we can change their mind on a whole lot of things. So gamers, look out for that next episode. Until next time gamers, later.